Hey there guys, happy Tuesday. We're back. Um, had a little tef- technical difficulties, but we're back now. And I want to thank you guys for coming in this evening. Uh, thank you to the viewers, the supporters, and the guests. Without you, there'd be no Indie Spotlight Philly. And I see Luciano is in here, so I'm going to start the interview. Hey! What's up? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you feeling? I... Good, good. Um, I wanted to tell you, uh, thank you for being very reachable for me being able to reach out to you. Oh yeah. Thanks. And um for you being <laughs> for you being able to do the interviews, I thank you. Um so uh my first question is uh where uh, uh where are you from? I'm from Camden, New Jersey. But I'm out here in Atlanta. I've been out in Atlanta for for some years. So this is home as well. That's home for you. Right, Mm -hmm. right. Great, great, great. And how did you come up with your, how did you come up with your name? Uh, Well, first off, my name has been Lucky since I was a baby, you know. Um, Mm -hmm. Because of our background, Sicilian and Black, I wanted to go Mm -hmm. with something, you know, Italian-ish, you know what I'm saying? So I threw in Luciano. So it's, it's Luciano Luck. That's what I do together, you know what I'm saying? Awesome, awesome. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And where can people, so where can everyone find you at? Like all your social media, your YouTube and stuff. Tell everyone where they can find you. Oh, yeah. I'm on all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, um, Snapchat, Apple Music, YouTube, you name it. Wherever you're trying to find me, my name is Luciano Luck. It's spelled exactly the same, no underscores, no dots none of that is luciano luck straight through anywhere you're trying to find me awesome 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 mm-hmm. and um on so um didn't didn't you just drop did you just drop a new video i know you have a youtube also as well yeah i have I only have two videos right now but we have mm-hmm. new music that's in store so it's definitely gonna be a lot more content coming your way yeah yeah and you also have a tiktok right as well Oh yeah, TikTok is everything for me. I mean, like that's how <laughs> that's how I grew as a as an artist and that's how a lot of my other platforms have grown because of TikTok, you know? Like TikTok, you grow really fast on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. So when did you um so uh, so tell me a little bit about that. When did you like start making your TikTok and like, you know, I don't know if you can remember what was your first video or what you were doing on there. But tell me a little bit about your TikTok. Right. So basically, I started the TikTok during the pandemic like a lot of people did you know Mm -hmm. and it just took off from there you know i started going live started building like uh connections with people you know what i'm saying so Mm -hmm. we just grew as a big family and there's some people in here right now that's from tiktok what's up kiki (laughs) awesome 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 um do you have you also have do you have a show on tiktok also where you go live don't you go live? yes i just got it started um i may not do it this week i may i'm not sure but i'm doing it every wednesday it's called luciano's love on live where i'm bringing together the lgbtq community and i mean you can either find a friend you can find a lover i mean it's just all about networking or just flirting and having a good time you know it's just it's just all love and light you know that's all that it is Definitely. And I also want to say actually help, happy Pride Month. And I'm so happy okay. that I'm able to have some Pride artists on. Yeah. That has made me really, really happy. Um, I also wanted to say, um, do you, so, okay. So do you have any merchandise for sale besides your music? I do have some t-shirts and I was going to stretch it out where I had like a real line of merch, but it's like, I didn't really launch it as much as I wanted to. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I have a Mm -hmm. website that's built. I just didn't start promoting it, you know? Right, right, right. You know, I got some. Right, all things are, yeah, like all things with time. So like, I know like you're spending a lot of time, you're making a lot of music and stuff. And a lot of that stuff is really, keeps you really, really busy. Mm -hmm. And also I noticed that you are, you were a celebrity or I don't know if you're still doing a celebrity barber. Could you tell uh, tell us a little bit about that also as well? Yeah, so I've cut some people that's a music artist, some people that are like um, famous through social media, music producers, um, uh, famous chefs, you know what I mean? Just uh, uh, just a lot of people, really. Wow, wow. Mm-hmm. But was that 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 was was that when you was in Camden? Or was that when you were in Atlanta, or just both? Didn't matter. Oh no, everything really happened here in Georgia and Atlanta. Because I lived about mm-hmm. half my life in Jersey, where I was just a kid, you know? 
And when okay. I finally moved to Georgia, that's when I got into um, cutting hair, you know? So my, my mm -hmm. career really started here in Georgia with music and with cutting hair, everything. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. And what is the what is the Atlanta, Georgia? What is the Atlanta music scene like? I haven't been there yet before, but I heard that it's a really, really a lot of people I know went there. It's um, I would say it's saturated. You know, just to mm. keep it one hundred, like everyone is a celebrity. It's hard to really stand out in Atlanta because it's the new Hollywood, it's the Black Hollywood. So yeah, you know, it's like it's tough to make it in Atlanta. Really, it really is. Because it's so many great artists. Everybody have a good look about themselves, you know? I mean, mm. at the end of the day, what helps someone make it or stops them from making it in Atlanta is the business aspect. You know, everyone mm. doesn't have everything. So you might go into a club and see someone that has good music and they look good, but can they ha handle business? If they can't, they won't make it. But if they can, they definitely will. You know what I'm saying? So Wow. Yes. Wow. I think that's a really big thing. I think that's a really big thing that I try to ask a lot of independent artists. And I like to ask um, different, I like to ask different artists about their experience with like, you know, uh, the business side of music. But that actually leads me to the question I normally ask everyone is, what is some of the best advice you would give to an up and coming artist or a person trying to uh, start music and, you know, start entertainment and stuff? Um... The best advice I would give them? Mm -hmm. hmm, it's so much out there. <laughs> it's like, where would you really start, you know? Right, right, right. I would honestly say I would try to make music that fits into now, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like there's a mm -hmm. sound that's out right now that you, you kind of got to, like, fit yourself into, even though that's not your sound. If you want to make mm. it, you have to blend in. You know, it is what it is. And once you build your audience, then you can kind of show them who you really are. But mm -hmm. my best advice is to really get in where you fit in. Do what you need to do to make it, really. Because mm. it's, it's so saturated and it's so tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to yeah. fit in. You definitely got to fit in. Definitely, right? So I also ask um, independent artists as well, too, is, what like is it is it really important so is it like really important to have it should you try to get like a record deal or should you just like go at it alone like i never known as being an artist myself i never knew like different parts of which way you go first some people say i'm getting an agent before i got a manager or they got a manager or they then they said like get a manager that you know or that likes you that that believes in you and stuff like that so i would say it depends on what you really want out of it or, mm -hmm. you know, what you have or what you don't have. Someone that has money to put into their own music, it's probably best you do go, you know, that route. Or if you want to stay true to yourself, you know, mm -hmm. you know, combined with what I just said, it's like you need to just go your own way and do it on your own. Now, if mm -hmm. you don't mind someone putting in the funds and making money off of you and changing you, then mm -hmm. you, might, you might be okay with going with a record label. But it's a lot of things. It's like pros and cons to each side. So which, right, one, right. which battle are you going to choose? Because it's going to be work regardless. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. That's what well, that's cool. Right? Yeah. Well, that's really, that's really good advice. Do you have any up-and-coming performances? I really wanted to start in August. Um, there mm -hmm. were shows that uh, came my way. I got to speak to Momager about it. But there's opportunities mm -hmm. on the table, I believe, starting in August. Because of the pandemic, it was other things that came up. But I was a little skeptical. So I did, you know... I pushed it away because I was, Hell, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't. Safety, yeah. yeah, it's about safety, you know what I'm saying? And being with all those people and that mic, and, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I turned a lot of stuff down. But come August, I believe that'll be a pretty decent time to step out there because they still going to have certain rules and regulations, mm -hmm. you know, having social distances, um, distancing. So I think I'm going to just try in August. I won't, I won't mind. And I have new music, so that I've been working on. So that'll, um, That'll be dropping soon as well. I'm just getting the beats remade. Once I get mm -hmm. the beats made and everything in line, we'll go to the studio. Um, I did switch over a little bit. I slowed my music down. The music mm -hmm. that you would hear right now is more, you know, upbeat, you know, more rap than anything. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to slow it down and catch a vibe, you know, change up my style a little bit. And I'm liking mm -hmm. it so far from what I'm writing, what I'm putting together and how mm -hmm. I'm feeling about it. 
I'm really digging it. So we're going to see, like, you know, what what comes? What comes with the change, you know? Yeah, yeah, right, right. That, that's good. Like, a variety of multi... You have a, a, a some people have like a layered sound or a layered style, you know, right. like they grow, <laughs> like you like right. they grow or the sound gets better or they add different elements to it. So we'll really be um, excited about that. Um, so do you um have you uh, have you done any uh, collaborations with any artists in the past or? In the past, like I have. Yeah. yeah, a couple independent artists like um a girl named Secret Nicole. I've done a song with um, 404 Mozzie, Juno Central. Um, mm -hmm. From what I'm thinking, I think that's about it. About two collabs, really. That I can think awesome. of. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, you can hear me. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that I still that I can hear you because I had like a call had came in and I had just declined okay. it. So I just want to make sure that didn't do nothing unto the sound. If you so if you had so if you had a chance, is there any artists that you would like to collaborate with, whether they're independent, <laughs> whether they're independent or whether they're mainstream? Definitely. Um, if I could collab with. Uh, OK, so in the past, I would just say um, like Meek Mill and Ace Hood, right? But like Ooh. now that I changed up, I would really try to collect. I would really want Jasmine Sullivan. You oh, know, I don't know how that yeah. would sound, but I love Jasmine Sullivan. You know, you can always reach as far as you want to reach. So I would say Beyonce, but you know that's you know that's really reaching. But you know, <laughs> you know, I don't know how that would sound either. But you know, her, you know, I love her as well. So. Yeah, those artists, I would definitely want to see how that sound would come out with me, you know, collabing with them. I think, like, um, in fact, I think Beyonce, Jasmine Sullivan, Ace Hood, and Meek Mills, I think, actually, they're all good. Right. And, like, I seen, I looked at a few of your lives and stuff like that, and uh, I seen you, like, talk to, like, your guests and stuff like that. And, I, you know, I really think you could talk them into it. I think so. <laughs> you have a good sense of humor, yeah. You got, you got a good, you know? Yeah. I was like, yeah, this person has really good talking skills. Shoot. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I look for. Like when I look for when I see people, um, when I see people communicating and stuff, I look at their lives and see how they, how they come across, you know, like when you see an artist and you feel like you like, dang, that could be my homie or I, or I could go and sit and talk to them. When I see artists like that and I see people that seem like I'm just like, I went to the club, they started knowing me, they started talking to me and stuff like that. I'd be like, wow, like that's cool. And I've seen that. I didn't see that like about you. Thank you. Um, do so do you um do you currently work with so do you currently work with any organizations and if you don't would you want to um no i don't i don't actually i mean yeah i don't really have anyone but uh, tycoon coalition you know what i'm saying that's the home right, squad right. um but no i don't actually and what i i wouldn't mind um i'm not about names I'm not right. about what people have done. I'm about vibes and energy. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, the biggest, the biggest and best organization can come to me. But if it's not a, a a good feel, I might turn it down. You know, to be honest. You know what? That would that's some real like, that's real. Cause like a lot of times, sometimes you don't like. It's a lot of shady stuff in the music industry. Most like, yeah, I just don't want to be a part of it. No, like, like it, it really don't matter who's like who's a part of it i don't if you don't want to be a part of it you wouldn't want to be a part of it right right exactly. so um and due to COVID 19 and its shutdowns where do you see where do you see like live music and music how music coming back how's it coming back to you like in like um in the south or um in the atl in the south or whatever around because different cities had different restrictions right you know what it's almost scary because we, everyone has gotten so used to the virtual concerts or everything just so virtual. It's like now that things are opening up, how are people going to respond to being able to be around people? You know, it's like, how is that? Cause I'm even myself, I'm saying yeah, August, but it's like, I'm going, it's going to be so weird. Like we're, yeah. I'm around <laughs> people right now. Like I can use the mic after you, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's gonna. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna. It's gonna take a little bit. It yeah. is. I, you know, I, 
I must admit, you, it is going to take a little bit. And I didn't really look at how much, how much of health and and you being physically able has so much to do with your career. If you're not physically able, if you're not up, you don't, you know. So that has a lot, lot to do with your career. So I'm with you. I was really, really skeptical because it like it just it took me the nail to be able to like look around outside and stuff. So like you said, like the trauma or not the trauma, but the way of living. Living a whole like year. For- it's been a whole year and some change. We've been doing the same thing. So <laughs> yeah, it's different. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. This is our this is our new normal, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um. So if so, you said like you did some collaborations in the past, right? Right. One, one, two. Okay. So how, um, as an artist, how do you, how do you approach? Like, let's say you don't, you never worked with another artist in the studio. You never worked with another artist. How? What's the best way to like for artists like to approach another, another artist and how to work with them? Like, do you have any like tips on like how to work in the studio with another artist? Well, I would say first off, you want to go in knowing their sound already like what they like to hear you know and if that's something that you're fit with then you can work around that um Mm -hmm. i would i wouldn't waste money or time going into a session with someone i've never worked with before i would want to just you know catch a vibe somewhere else like i don't know in the parking lot in your car that's the best vibe to me you know what i'm saying you just listen to each other music y'all talk about how y'all get down in the studio what y'all do you know just Mm-hmm. Just figure each other out before going into the studio because you're wasting time and money, like I said, and that's something that I'm not a fan of, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need to know yeah. what I'm getting yeah. myself into before I start spending some money. You're right, though. though mm-hmm. Especially, I, you know, that's a good that's a, that's a a good thing that you bring up is that, you know, a lot of people that are doing this, uh, that are independent and independent artists are using their own money. And yes. When it's show money, when it's your money, it's is different. You know, when it's your, when it's your money and you see all these things happening, it is it is really different. Mm-hmm. Um, and have you so? How long have you? I, I want to ask. How long have you been? Uh, how long have you been an artist? About two years, and two years. it's almost like I don't even want to count the year of the pandemic because we weren't yeah. really doing much. So I would just say a year. You know, like yeah. So short amount yeah, of time. Yeah short amount of time, but I've grown so much. It's unbelievable to me. And something, uh, another piece of advice that I would give out to anybody for anything, not even just music, but sometimes in life, like, like you can be an artist, you can be a doctor, you can be whatever it is that you are. And sometimes we'll come at a stagnant point where we just like, is this really what I want? Is this what I'm trying to do? Like, where am I going? Like, I've been doing this for so long. Or, or like, you know, you just get the yeah. question and you get kind of stuck just always just pray on it because that's something that I had to do with being an artist. I got a little stuck like, okay, I've been a barber all my life. I'm trying to get into music. There's other opportunities like acting and commercials, mm. all types of stuff that's around me. So like, what am I to do? You know? So I yeah. had to just pray on it and I prayed on music first because that's like basically what's in front of me. And opportunities different people maybe even different bars and lyrics melodies might come to my mind so i would just tell anyone to just pray on whatever it is that you're trying to do doesn't matter how stuck you are how lost you feel whatever but your prayers do get answered so awesome that is some great and encouraging Mm -hmm. advice i i also i also agree i in fact i don't even think this is just my perspective but i don't even really think you really get to really really being an artist until you get that feeling right until you say i don't know if i'm if i'm gonna keep doing this like i I think that i think like that's that literally had to almost happen in everybody's career because sometimes that's how hard it is but i have a question someone has a question actually down here for you and it says your music gives me two vibes chill and aggressive that growl wait (laughs) the chill and aggressive that growl can you explain it um yeah i'm gonna be honest <clears throat> that sound that comes out of me is something that i grew up hearing because being in jersey you listen to jada kiss you'll listen to uh beanie siegel uh buster rhymes you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you can mm-hmm. hear that and it's like that's the sound that i want to give that's the sound that i feel i love that sound you know what i'm saying so it just it just came out of me you know it's not even yeah. like i forced it it just I just love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just happens. 
Yeah. I want I do I must say though, uh I'll be I'll be making like um I know it's how people make fantasy football and I make fantasy collabs in my head. Mm -hmm. And that one with the ace hood and the meek mills when I, I I'm I'm speaking that into existence. They have, <laughs> into a, song. Existence. They have a song out. No, I mean with you on it. Oh, with me. Oh, oh. <laughs> with you on oh, it. Yeah, oh, I'm speaking. Oh. I'm speaking that into existence. Oh, we we gonna get. We gonna get there. <laughs> thank you. Um, so another question says, "Where or uh, when? When are you dropping the full album?" Well, I'm not sure when I'm gonna drop a full album. I do know right now we're working on a project that's mm -hmm. um Luciano versus Luck. So Luciano is gonna be that hard aggression growling that you might hear, and then Luck is gonna be the soft, slow, sexy R&B-ish that I was saying that I was rolling over into. So we're going to do a little EP for that. But the full album, I'm not sure because, hey, if we drop the EP and people are like, yo, I like the sexy smooth, then I might make a whole album of sexy and smooth. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. I like that. I like yeah. it. I like your, um, I like your, I like your concept. Um, do you think that you do you want to do any um I also can see I also can see you playing um like maybe like playing in a series or a movie. Mm -hmm. Have you been looking into that too? Not looking into it, but I have mm -hmm. I've had opportunities on the table where I could be in like a, a short film, independent film and stuff like that. I was just a little skeptical about it because it was so different, you know? But I've yeah. had yeah, like I said, I've had opportunities to do that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And also want to ask, have you have you ever been on a tour? No, um, but I can say this. Never been on a real tour, but it was this it was like um before the pandemic, my mom was making sure that every almost like every single night for like two weeks straight, we were going to different clubs every single night. Every and when I tell you I was so tired just from that, because I would work throughout the day and then at night we'll go to like a show. So I was just so tired. So it's like, I can only imagine how I would feel if I was on a real tour, state to state, city to city for like a month, mm -hmm. like they go, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> that felt like, yeah, that was like, that's like, actually like, that's like a mid, like when you go to like, when you go to different places and do, I even, I even consider that actually uh, like a mini tour. Like if you go in from place to place and doing different showcases, that's actually like a tour. Even if you just, did it all around Atlanta because it's you know right. it's a big place you yeah. know <laughs> it's yeah. like a city or what do they call it a city like a could be like a city tour a city yeah a little trip. city tour yeah 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 that's a lot of hard work oh you have another question Tytoon Coalition how how's your show doing on TikTok it's it's growing um the first night that we did it was about 80 over 80 some people in the live then the next night we did it was over 100 the third night and it was a little dry, just a little bit, but it was still a good amount, you know, to know that, okay, we still have something going. So it's been growing, you know, even though you have a yeah. little dry patch don't mean you got to stop. So I'm definitely going to keep rolling and uh, keep it growing. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. And you actually, the, on this, on your main page, this page, you actually have about over 200,000 followers. I believe so. My mom manages this page, so I don't even really, I'm going to be real, I don't really pay it no mind. She just do her thing. I'll be on my other page. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, she manages this uh, Um. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, I just want to tell everybody, um, that's extremely hard to do. <laughs> it's extremely hard to have that many followers. Extremely. Yes. So I, I, I can definitely say that that's a huge, that's a really, really huge milestone. And who, let me see if we have any other. Um, and um, I'm just looking at different questions. Oh, how somebody said they want to. Oh, let me see if I get that mm -hmm. question up there. Oh, am I still up there? Can we hear you rap now? Actually, guys, that's actually up to Luciano Luck. Sometimes um, I don't like that. It's up to, that's up to you. <laughs> um, nah. Okay. Nah. He's like, I'm, I'm doing my interview right now. Yeah, <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> you can uh, check out. You can also, um, you can, um, do you, uh, I know you did, actually, you did a bat. you actually, I actually seen you do a battle, um, with someone, I can't remember. Big uh, recently, I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, yep. I enjoyed second that. Second to last, 
second to last round I got through. So that was an experience. I learned a lot, you know, especially with the last round, because that dude was very experienced, you know. He was really good. So I learned a lot from him just, you know, being there, you know. So yeah, yeah. almost, but not quite. But I'm growing, and I, I couldn't believe that I made it that far in something like that with so many talented people, and I'm so new in the game. You know, that really blew me yeah. away for real. So I was proud of myself for making it as far as I did, it really. I was too. I, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to also, before I wrap up the interview, I wanted to ask, is there anything, um, is there anything else that you wanted to add? Um, I think we pretty much laid everything out with TikTok, the new music, the sound changing. I think that's pretty much it. You can look out for new content. I mean, if you don't mind, I can play a song. Sure. Um, okay. I'm going to play a song real quick. It's called Kissing. Um, it's short okay. and sweet, so I'm not going to hold y'all up. Oh, no, sure. Play it. Sure. Okay. And this is basically the sound that we're going for. So that's kissing right there. Well, I love it. It's Thank it's you. got it's got like a sexy summer feel. Like I'm driving with my uh, with my with my on the drop top and I'm riding. I'm going to the beach. I like it. I like Thank it. So we'll be definitely waiting for uh the video to that. I'm excited to see the video that goes with that. <laughs> and I like it. I like it. So I <laughs> so I wanted to say um thank you. Thank Ty, uh, Tycoon Coalition. Thank you. Thank all of the viewers for watching. Thank you, Luciana, look for coming through Thank and being you. with the Indie Spotlight Philly. Thank you. Good vibes. I love the vibes. I'll come back another time when, when I got more awesome. music. Whenever you need me, I got you. This was a good vibe. Awesome. I appreciate awesome. it. I needed I'm... it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. I love that. I love the like independent artists. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great evening. Oh, yeah. Bye. Likewise. Thank you. <laughs>